Yo guys, so what is going on and welcome back to the 1.17 Hardcore. So, we're back with another episode. So far I got an enchanting table. Here you get books. And that's where I got my cow pen set up over here. Just need to play them up. But in this episode, like promised in last episode, it's either an iron farm or villager breeder. And I decided on a villager breeder. Because as I was busy with this Fletcher over here and the toolsmith trading, I fell down here. And I lit it up. It's actually a really small area, as you can see. And there's actually a villager down here. If we can find him, he should be there. He's here. So I just need to push the guy from in there back down here. And then we'll have a nice. No, 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 no. Yeah, we'll have a nice villager breed down there. And then maybe later a bubble column coming up. Because what I need, right? It's easy to get like oh, efficiency and uh, unbreaking from a enchanted table, but silk touch and fortune is pretty hard. So it'll be nice to get some librarians at the beginning you know so we can get geared up because right now not looking that great and while we get there but after we build a breeder we are going to explore this cave i went a little bit down because i got this axolotl and then a glowing squid died which was pretty cool so let's sleep and then we can get to work with the villager breeder okay so quick tutorial on a villager breeder Number one is get a nice five, not five by five, a nine by nine area. So we'll pick this as a center, right? Pop in a water bucket over there. We go out one, two, like so. One, two, like so. One, two, like so. And then one, two, like so. And then we dig the square out and then we replace it with dirt. Okay, once you've done that, you add your composter on here and then you add a block on top i'm actually gonna reroll this guy because i want a specific trade which is this okay let me go get some carrots to lock him in okay got the carrots let's just lock him in with that trade and then you just add light around the composter Next, you'll bring out your hoe, you'll till all the land, and then you'll actually see if he has anything in his inventory, you'll try to use it. If not, that's good, but as you can see, he had beetroot seeds. So I'm going to wait and make sure his inventory is completely empty, but I'm putting down potatoes. And then all, all you need to do after that is just add beds. Beds will make sure you have the exact amount of villages you actually want in the area. So if you want only like five, you just put five beds. If you want two, you put two beds. I don't know why you would want two, but yeah. Okay, next what we want to do is get a villager into him in there so that we can breed these guys so let me get a boat so we can get this network to go there Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to shear the sheep on top 
and then I'm gonna make sure this guy doesn't have anything else in his inventory because that will be a problem and then I'll place beds and then we can go on our caving expedition all right guys so I placed the bed and it doesn't look like there's any other crops in his inventory now so the potato should be fine but as you can see ready for mining got some water buckets to capture axolotls and then we've got the basic tools and diamond just or obsidian so let's get down here and then if anything interesting happens I'll bring you in oh my god oh okay right here even right here by the village oh my god okay I want to go around I want to see if I can find the entrance of the spot Oh, okay. I was just digging and it's actually right by the surface. So I think we're going to have a pretty cool excavation job on our hands right now. So I think I'm going to just put on a podcast and just dig this whole thing out and like expose it to the surface since it's like right here. Where is it? right here and then we can make like a building you know and then somebody's like you know just learning about the geode so uh this is where i actually just cut away i will have it recording just in case you know i die or near death experiences so let me get that done all right guys so i there's the excavation site so i think over here i want to have construction or excavation sort of equipment like cranes and that you know showing that they found something there and then over here we'll have sort of like a building for uh like a research building that's researching so we have a staircase you know mind your head that leads straight down into this entrance pretty amazing if i do say so myself where we can actually start farming and as you can see there's our farming stuff so we can do all of that good stuff but let us let us actually check on the villagers because it's been quite a while almost like 45 minutes maybe half an hour to 45 minutes so let's check on those guys then I can go back to caving. Okay, it still looks like there is no other saplings that this farmer guy has. That's that that's a good thing. So it'll probably take a few days for them to actually start breeding because of the farmer's lack of potatoes and also the lack of potatoes in the farmland. But that's fine because we still have a lot to do like the leather and then we also gonna go caving now so let me just empty out my inventory and then get back my buckets so we can go to cave oh no 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 oh wait you got a squid ink Give it to me, please. Thank you. Oh, almost got full zard over there. That is dangerous. And so is this guy. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna blow in those. Ah, cool. Oh wow, this cave is just never ending wow we 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 were driven to be prepared to come back here i mean i don't think i will be able to survive i guess too greedy uh that's a witch i'm out of here 
Okay, short lived caving trip. But what are you gonna do? You can't, we can't risk it in a hardcore world. And I think the only way I can get axolotls is if it's dark underground. So, yeah, our prospects were pretty low. But anyway, we pretty successful cave-in trip. I mean, we found the geode, which is probably one of the most important things to find, in my opinion, because those are pretty hard to come by since the change. I think for now, I'm just gonna take it easy, do some farming, and wait for the villagers to start breeding. Maybe give them a boost towards the uh, extra potatoes I found from here. So let me get that sorted out and we can come back when we have some fuzzy chair babies. Yo guys, check it out, baby. And I also uh, voted one guy from inside the village so I can start at least getting a mending so far. But yeah, since this guy came soon, a few more will follow. And yeah, let me get the librarians going once I have a few. I'll come back to you all right guys so I did some trading and I guess it is time for the first enchant of the season let's get that achievement oh okay that that this 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 this, this is amazing but I don't like this pick I'm gonna use it for now but how I like it is efficiency and breaking then so touch so later in the season, we will get my perfect pick. I don't like keeping tools like that, but it's pretty cool. I got a fortune librarian through that guy. So I think the next guy, I will stick with mending and then get the touch so we can put it on accident that in case we don't get it on an enchant. So I think now what we can do while we wait for the other guy to grow up is let us go into the nether. I just want to see what the nether spawn actually looks like. So let's do it. One, two. Chief out on the corners since this won't be the main portal. One, two. One, two, three and slide it up go through shield up huh wait okay where are we crimson forests okay let me dig down try and see where we at okay so i dug all the way down to you what you would say is lava level didn't find anything so let's go back up to the portal and then just pick a direction okay instead of a shield we're gonna keep our blocks on the offhand just in case we reach a lava source like so and okay okay i was fast to change but that's why we need in our offhand just in case okay okay there's piglins so okay we get into another waste okay pretty cool so we have a nice tunnel that's all i needed to know because i actually need to get quite a bit of glowstone for the next episode because we are going to make a pretty cool area for our villagers. Well, not all our villagers, just the librarians. That, that's about it. All right, guys, welcome back. So, as you can see, we have our unbreaking. This is a mending guy. With, I think he has also sweeping edge. Okay, end of time. This is my silk touch boy. 
and then that is fortune and as you can see all of the beds are full with the farmer 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 okay there the farmers in the bed sleeping cool so as you can see everything is in order right now i'm in the works of planning the building for for the villagers so let me just show you yeah here's it your book and quill uh, there's still a lot more uh resources i need to add to that book and then i need to start resource gathering but what i thought we could do for now is go and look for a shipwreck so we can get some moss so let's grab a boat and we'll head in that direction because we went this way we saw it's more just more land so i think that way is our best bet oh and uh, by the way i added an extra data pack called blazing caves i just like it for you know there's just extra stuff to do you know in my own time and uh, you get trophies which i really like you know it's like a physical form of you actually achieving it unlike with the vanilla game where you just get the achievement there's no physical evidence of you getting it so i think it's pretty cool and yeah maybe if we get a chance we can do some stuff or some advancement that are more on the high end oh we got some more goat friends Oh, that was an achievement. But they don't drop meat, nothing. That 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 just seems like a scam. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, it's only 300 blocks away from the origin. Not bad. So I think 300 negative 100. Just need to make sure we remember that. 300 negative 100 okay we're coming up on another shipwreck this one also doesn't look like it has the chest we are looking for but you can always just go in there. oh yes it does oh yes it does oh no Let's just get some air first. Then we go down again. It should have the chest inside here. Moss, moss, moss. Yes, let's go. Uh. Okay. Expedition is over officially all right guys we are back so got some gold iron lapis out of the sea nautilus shells tnt nuggets helmet some more nuggets and then miscellaneous food and the most important thing the moss block okay let me just plop it down okay so like i said earlier i have a lot of resource grinding for next episode you see this it says 30.40s the 30 is full stacks and then the 40 is i need 40 extra after i get 30 full stacks so yeah 
and that's not all this is like maybe a quarter I just need to add the rest and then I'll have to go and resubscribe but thank you all for watching this episode if you all enjoyed you know leave a like subscribe comment if you all didn't enjoy this like tell me what you all didn't like about it and I'll see you in my next episode